Okay, we've already dealt with dilations in the previous three chapters. And the same thing holds true here. So remember, if you have ratio of parts given as m to n, what does that mean the ratio of their corresponding areas if you have similar figures would be? That ratio squared. Right, I'm, as I go through this, I'm going to talk through the steps and kind of label out, list out the directions for approaching this type of problem. Okay, so, the first step in finding the answer is to identify what is the given ratio. Are you given the parts or are you given the areas? So on this here, we're told that we're dilating each side. So is side a one-dimensional part or a two-dimensional area? It's a part, right? One dimension. So that means that our ratio of parts is going to be, if it's a dilation by a factor of three, it's one to three or three to one. You can write it in either way. And we're going to manipulate this later uh, to account for that, but you can write it in either way, either three to one or one to three. Okay, once you identify the given ratio, you're then going to apply the properties to find the necessary ratio. So in this particular problem, we want to find a new figure's area. So the ratio that we're looking for then is the ratio of the corresponding areas. So if the ratio of parts was 1 to 3, what does that mean the ratio of their corresponding areas is? 1 squared or 1 to 3 squared. Or not. So the next step, you find the necessary ratio that you need to solve the problem. And then what we're going to do is we're going to convert our ratio into a fraction. And that's really just finding the conversion factor. The conversion factor is going to either be, it's going to be a fraction of one part over the other, or one measure over the other. So either 1 over 9 or 9 over 1. That's our conversion factor for this. And depending on which, whether you're going from a smaller to a larger, okay, so if you smart, start smaller and you move to a larger measure, 9 over 1 gives you a, a larger value. 1 over 9 gives you a smaller value. So if you're moving from larger to smaller, you'll use 1 over 9. If you're moving from smaller to larger, you'll use 9 over 1. Okay, so then the final step is to oops, apply your conversion factor and solve your problem. So in this case, we started with a figure with an area of 10, and we want a new one dilated by a factor of 3. So is this figure getting bigger or smaller? getting bigger, right? Three times as big as for each side. So what that means is we're going to be using this conversion factor. And so we're going to take our original starting point, 10 centimeters squared, and we're going to multiply by our conversion factor 9 over 1. That's the ratio of their areas. And then we just simplify across the top, 90 centimeters squared over 1, and we get our answer. 